Hello everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today I'm back with more Transformers. This time, as you could see, is Transformers Legacy Road Hauler, part of the Velocitron Speedia 500 collection. This is an older release. I think this was released back in early 2023. So it's a little over a year old. Uh, original retailed for around $39.99 here in the US. I ended up paying close to 25 bucks for it. Uh, so what you see there is what you get. You get a couple of accessories. You get um, Road Hauler here in his vehicle mode already. So you guys can see already taken them out, out of the box. These uh, Velocitron figures, I believe Cosmos was also part of this wave or this release. Cosmos himself was pretty hard to get, but this guy you can get just about anywhere, I think, nowadays. Nice packaging in blue. You got Road Hauler here in his bot mode, up here in his vehicle mode. And looking back here on the back, same thing, right? You got the vehicle, 18 steps, and you got road holder here in his uh, bot mode. He's in the box. First thing being uh, this little tip here, accessory, that can be attached to his hand in bot mode and can also be attached here to the side. There's a couple of different ports that this can be uh, attached to. This one specifically has got a thing on the side here. That you can attach to here and it kind of sits in place like so so that's some pretty nice storage additionally you get a little claw here grapple whatever you want to call it and this can be replaced here so when you turn the hook on its side there's a port here that accepts this peg and it kind of sits like that so that's really cool and then lastly of course you got to have a weapon so you get this weapon here all in black plastic really cool and you can attach this pretty much anywhere i mean if you wanted to you could do it down here but it's going to get in the way normally the instructions tell you to have them attach here to uh this port here on the side so you end up looking with something like that starting here in vehicle mode this is how he comes in the box you can take all this stuff out and immediately obviously my mind goes to grapple and or inferno uh this was a pretty obscure character if if you could call it that at least as far as g1 he was in one of the very first few episodes or the first episode of uh transformers i think he helped to pick up prime maybe and he was actually orange from what i recall he wasn't green i think he became green i think they have uh, different iterations like i think in the comics uh, where this guy became kind of green or at least part of the Constructicons, hence the, the color, right? But a very obscure character nonetheless. Um, you know, you got your crane here, which is done really nice. You got some green and um, yellow and black lining line work there. It's done really nice. Again, very reminiscent of the Constructicons. You've got the cab here, which is uh, all, uh, you know, windshield clear plastic. With that nice painted green you got wheels that move freely so that's really cool really nice uh you know vehicle mode here here's from what it looks like from the top here's what it looks like from the back here's another side look and the bottom here so really cool uh, this uh crane here you can fully move it all the way around i'll show you guys one second so you could take that fully move it around and also it's a nice ratchet here to move it up and down the uh, part of the transformation involves you pushing this in so it can move in and out if you wanted to so you can have it shorten all along and kind of have it hang out the front like that which I think would be the appropriate uh, look for it but overall I mean you guys can see the details there looks like a really nice vehicle mode some nice uh, bright green and some nice uh, line work there nice uh, autobot symbol here on the front again this is it looks to be all clear plastic that's been painted over yeah but that's it here you go that is road hauler in his vehicle mode. next we'll go ahead and move on to the transformation here so you're gonna take this you're gonna push it or rotate it forward if you wanted to you're gonna take this whole thing push it back in kind of just sits in place like so next we can go ahead and take the whole cab section here and just uh undo the tabs here that are holding the arms together and just stick this out like so then same thing here we're going to take this and 
undo the tabs here that are holding the, the feet together. Once we do that, we can go ahead and take these arms. They're on a hinge here. So you're just going to undo the tabs here on the center of the arms and then just fold them forward like so. They're going to tab in there and you can then move these arms down for now so that you end up looking. Let me fix the camera here something like that and you can see the uh, bot mode here already starting to take shape you're going to take the arms so that the joints are sort of facing forward so you can bend the elbows just leave them like that for now the next thing to do is this whole back section here is going to fold in so you're just going to take that leave it like that you're going to take this whole section here i'm going to fold this in and then fold this like so the head is here, so you're going to take this and just swing this around and you'll see the head kind of there in place. Then we take that and just undo this so that it folds all the way down like so. Just make sure this is tabbed in place so it doesn't keep coming out. Then you're going to take this, you'll see that there's a clear plastic blue tab here that's going to go tabbed in there so just be really careful uh, this clear plastic sometimes makes me nervous that it's going to break but that'll fit right in there and then you're going to take this and fold this in and the head's going to sit here you got to make sure that these two side sections kind of uh, fit nicely in place with where i'm pointing out in the head but essentially you're going to take that and this whole back section is going to tab in and sit in place like so. Then the feet down here, you're just going to take these and fold them in and swing them back. So they sit like so, same thing here. So you're going to take this, fold it down and then swing it back. And at that point, you're just about done with the robot mode. So the next thing to do is to fold the arms here out. You could do either arm or you could do both. Uh, essentially, you're just going to fold these out like that. And like I say, you could do them on, on both sides and you can have hands on both sides. But at that point, you're done. Right. And then you could take the weapons and sort of attach them here. If you wanted to use this little cannon hand, which reminds me a lot again of a uh, grapple or uh, inferno, you could take this here fold it back in and you could take his uh, can and here and attach it and that is it here is your robot mode for road hauler you can also then take this claw you can attach it to the hand via the same um, the same uh, plug there so you could do that if you wanted to I personally like this look here which again reminds me of Inferno specifically and there you go that's your bot mode. Uh, articulation wise, you know, you can kick forward. It's got the knee 90. You've got your ankle. So that's pretty cool. Can't really, you can swing this out if you wanted to for posing purposes. It's going to look a little janky, but you can do that. And then the waist here can rotate fully. So that is something you could do. The back here, uh, the crane kind of can get in the way, but you can move it out if you needed to swing the the uh the, the hips fully out the arms here are again you get some good articulation from them you got your bicep swivel there you've got your uh, 90 degree single joint and then the hands swing in and out the hands are not articulated they're kind of in place and they do not rotate so again just something to keep in mind the head here can rotate it gets a little hard to get my hand in there on my fingers but you can rotate the head fully in um, you can move this back if you wanted to but then that's kind of part of the transformation so you don't want to do that and just to give you a bit of a close-up here of uh, his expression he is yelling and I think the face is done uh, really well there some nice details nice detailing there on the chest on the legs with the black and green and same thing here on the bottom by the feet and that's back. But uh, overall, some decent articulation, you know, in this guy. 
and then look wise again you've got the whole constructicon color going here in that lime uh, green if you want or neon green if you want to call it along with the black I believe in one of the comics I think that's what they rationalize is that this guy may have been with the constructicons or part of the constructicons before he became an Autobot so uh, again some bit of a of a lore there but as far as the G1 cartoon we never saw him in bot mode uh, again continuing here the um clear blue plastic that's part of the chest that's nicely painted again the front of the vehicle so looking really cool uh the crane i don't mind so much is a big backpack but i think it kind of fits this uh character you know i know the masterpiece figure of grapple and um inferno that i have they do a good job of hiding the, all this kibble but that's masterpiece right this is just a very uh you know the lux price point whatever you want to call it uh, some complaints on my end is, of course, the hollowness here. I really wish they would have at least given us some covers to cover that up. So that would have been nice, uh, a way to cover that. And then same thing here, same thing here on the feet. You know, you've got all this empty space, which, uh, here on the thighs as well, kind of gives this figure a bit of a cheap feel, but you know what? It's okay for the 20, 23, $24 that I paid for it. I'm happy with it. And again, it's an obscure character. So, um, you know, I missed out on the mold of this guy for Inferno and Grapple. I do not have those. I think this guy, you could, you know, find him for again, 20, 25 bucks. I think it'll be a good So let's price. go ahead and move on to the comparisons here with Hauler. So first we have the cup from Studio Series 86. Then we have Studio Series 86 RC here. So you can see the size difference, looking pretty cool. We'll move them out of the way. Bring in some random gold bug. And since we have gold bug, why not bring in hubcap? There you go. We'll move those two guys out. Staying with the smaller guys, here he is next to Studio Series 86 Bumblebee. And the Busworthy Bumblebee, um, or Studio Series 86 uh, Cliff Jumper there. You guys can see them there together, looking pretty cool. Get them out. Here's what it looks like next to Jazz. And Sunstreaker. See them all there together with the camera a bit. So they look like they actually do look pretty cool there. Move them out. Bring in Wheeljack. Here's next to Wheeljack. Move Sunstreaker out. And here he's next to Braun. So they look like size wise. We'll move these two guys out. Bring in, here is Trailbreaker and Hoist. See the three, three of them there standing together, look pretty cool. And we'll move these two guys out. Why not bring out Cosmos? Little Cosmos there looking pretty cool. And of course, can't have the Autobots we have without Optimus Prime. Optimus, this is Earthrise Optimus. He is a little taller than a uh, hauler there. Okay, guys, so we're going to wrap this one up. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are here on hauler. Certainly uh, not too bad for the 20 bucks or so that I got this guy. Uh, you know, for such an obscure character. Uh, you know, he wasn't a must get for the collection, but I figure, hey, let me uh, get these while they're affordable. But anyway, if I missed anything, you have any questions, um, feel free to leave a comment. Otherwise, if you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much again for your very valuable time. And as always, I will catch you in the next one. Take care.